Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, an Apple Certified Trainer. Today's tutorial looks at how you can use free effects to enhance your videos. First in a way that helps inject energy into a high impact edit, and then in a more subtle way to change the look of a more serious piece. All the effects discussed here are part of the new Core Melt Free. This piece starts out lacking something. The shots are clear, but the jump cuts are distracting. A common technique to disguise jump cuts in a quick edit is to use a white flash, perhaps a dip to colour dissolve, but you can get a much better result with exposure flash. Used with a very short duration, it's quite like a camera flash, but can also work with a longer duration for a stronger glow effect. For a similar glow effect as a filter rather than a transition, try blowout. The controls here let you push a clip beyond normal bounds to help you emulate a post-apocalyptic wasteland, but you can animate the power parameter up or down as needed, and there are many other parameters to change. At lighter power settings, you can give footage a bleaching effect, like that on old film stock. God rays can shine light where none exists, and it can be used with jump cuts to add a great deal of energy to an otherwise static shot. Ray's center is important for positioning the rays, but the strength, color, and length all contribute to the variety. Don't be afraid to blade a clip into several smaller sections and apply different presets to each. Another way to spice up an edit is to bridge the cuts with glitch effects. Analog glitch is a filter that gives the VHS aesthetic, still popular today, and you can adjust the settings to give different clips a different look. For example, you can apply scan lines of varying widths, horizontal distortion, H and V sync problems, interference, and static, all independently of one another. Ramp these parameters up, then down on the next clip for a useful transition effect. If you're looking for a grungy transition effect, projector malfunction gives an effect from an older time of holes burning in a piece of film to reveal another. The parameters to affect the glowing edges and the size and angle of the holes means you won't be repeating yourself with a second or third use. Another transition worth trying, over a short or longer time period, is random crop. It swiftly crops the outgoing shot down, then fades to a crop of the incoming shot, which expands to reveal it all. Modify the seed parameter to give different crop positions. In classic feature films and documentaries, few visible transitions or effects are used, perhaps an occasional cross-dissolve. That doesn't mean that effects haven't been used, simply that they've been used invisibly. This shot of an eye is a little bright in the corners. Darkening the corners of the shot with advanced vignette can help focus attention back to the centre of the shot without looking like an effect. There's also a lot more flexibility here than with the built-in vignette. For an alternative method of colour correction, look to RGB levels and curves. If you know you just need to push up the red to make the shot more orange, or push down the Luma midtones to darken a shot down, this is the perfect filter. Create a series of presets to give a variety of looks to your shots. This is an easy way to get an instant overexposed desert, cool dark, or lush forest look. Finally, if you want a transition that's softer than the built-in wipes, use Soft Edge Wipe. In a previous tutorial, we looked at how this could be used to add a passing line of sparkles, but it's also easily applied as a simple, very soft wipe. Here, I've applied it to a series of shots as an attractive alternative to a series of cross dissolves. To download these effects, head to coremelt.com and look for the link to Coremelt Free. The full package, Coremelt Complete, contains these and hundreds more effects for even more variety. Thanks for watching.